what I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of Hint Water, RX Bar, Quest Nutrition, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Uh, our sponsor today is Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 is a conference or software company's 100% outsourced solution to run their own VIP special events and mini conference. Rise 25 is a secret weapon for the conferences and software companies to get more referrals, increase retention with their highest level customers and get more engaged new customers. We do them all over the country. Last year we did them in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, many more. So check out rise25.com if you find that your community wants to bring your highest level customers together. Today I'm very excited. We have the co-founder and CEO of Smarty Pants Vitamins. Courtney Nichols Gould's Smarty Pants Vitamins have a gummy obsession, which if you look at their website, they do have a gummy obsession and they have every product for every one, very niched actually. And it started because they believe that the very best vitamins are an all-in-one combination of different nutrients that would save money, time, and peace of mind for their customers. Their products can be found on Amazon, Whole Foods, Kroger, Target, Costco, and many more locations all over the U.S., they're the bottle with a cute owl winking at you. <laughs> and for every bottle sold, they make a one-for-one grant to Vitamin Angels to provide children in need with nutrients. And they have made over 6.2 million nutrient grants to date. Courtney, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. Talk about the transition to retail because when you say retail and when and you know Smarty Pants is in Whole Foods, it's in Kroger, right. it's in Costco, I also get very nervous because... That seems like a huge animal. Like I feel, I don't know, when I hear the this, this safer realm of internet <laughs> and now you have product that you're putting out on shelves and you got to drive this whole other channel, it's, it's a whole other animal. So how did you just, why did you then decide to go into retail? Because some people will choose not to do that. And then what worked? I mean, it's kind of what I said before, which is just that the, Look, the majority of people are still buying things in stores, but in our category and supplements, the vast majority of sales are still happening at retail. So if, once we saw where the product was going and that, frankly, this was bigger than just a kid's product, that we could really change the industry. You know, we had the potential to really disrupt and bring true innovation to the supplement aisle. I think we realized, okay, we're going to have to go into retail but we're going to do it in a very, we're going to be very thoughtful. So we understand kind of how the pricing and margin work. Cause that was all new to us. Right. I mean, it's crazy and different channels have wildly different margins and, you know, and so I think we did it in the right order, which is we started in natural, which made sense for us because we were premium and we knew people would understand the story and the price point. And we were more expensive, which also was a risk um, in the multivitamin category. But then you go into natural and, and it just took off like a rocket ship and, you know, it gives you confidence. So it doesn't all happen overnight. Again, why I said I think we built a really strong foundation is we did stair step. You know, we only went into Target two years ago, but now we're one of the fastest growing brands in Target. Right. And we launched in Costco a year ago. But but again, then it, we felt confident doing all these things because the thing that's so different about our company is our retention rate is so high. And we know that for a fact because of the stats, you know, from our online uh, from everything we've done online. And so we knew that our retention rate on average was about 2x the industry average in terms of people repurchasing a product again and again and again, which is why we started the whole company to begin with, right? We designed it trying to fix this problem in supplements where people don't stick with the regimen for very long. Uh, and that's not just one thing. And that's why I think a lot of people have launched companies, but they haven't really gotten at what we're doing because doing what we do requires thinking about a million different things. It's not one thing. And so it's not, oh, they taste good or, oh, you know, cool packaging. It's, you know, it's, you got to be thoughtful about every single piece if you're really going to crack the code. And so that's what gave us confidence going into places like Target, launching chain wide at Target, launching chain wide at Costco, launching. Uh, we just launched at Walmart chain wide a week ago. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you very much. And, you know, it's a really big deal for us because we did not start this company 
to provide more solutions for rich people. I mean, it's great. We love for them to take the product. We, you know, we feel it's the best one out there. But this is really about making premium nutrients affordable to the to everybody and to people who need it most. And so for us, launching at Walmart actually is is like a you know a company lifetime achievement um, because that's what we. That's want. kind of their ethos, right? Yeah, yeah, and they really are. They, I am. I have been so impressed, actually. You know that organization. They are really trying to move the needle on public health by changing what's on the shelf because they know how many people come through their doors, and it's very clearly become over the last two years. You saw what they did with organic vegetables and fruit. They are really getting behind it, and I, you know, I think it's a great thing, frankly, for everybody. And we're we're thrilled with that. So anyway, that's kind of what we built these launches on something that we knew was a was worth the risk. Did you have to do, Courtney, did you have to do anything differently with the packaging or something like that to, to move into retail? Or is it the exact same product that you have on? It is, okay. It is. And that's one of the things, you know, we'd seen other people do that where they make a cheaper version for other channels that, you know, are lower priced. And we just made a decision that's, we're not going to do that. You know, the whole point is that if we design something that we know is the best, we're not going to make a less best version of it. And so we change the sizing, right? Sometimes. So we'll have a big size in Costco, which is right. really typical, and a smaller shut size in drug or grocery or something. Um, so there might be a sizing difference, but it's the same formula sold everywhere. Totally. Yeah. Um, and so I know you guys are very, very customer centric. You listen to all feedback. If you look at any of the stuff on Amazon from Smarty Pants, there's always responses yeah. to the negative ones, positive ones. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. What's some of the negative feedback you got early on, and and then how what you learned from it to, to change? Yeah. So there are a couple things. There's the negative that actually becomes the positive. So one of the things people talked about was, oh, why do I have to take four gummies, right? And because it's an all-in-one. Because they taste one, good. Don't complain. No, just, well, exactly. Yeah. But, no, but, but it's a valid question, right? Because they're used to seeing two gummies or whatever. And it's because we include things like omega-3s, which are really large molecules, and we need them to taste good. But the reality is if you take the amount of sugar and the nutrient density of our product and put it against anybody else, you actually end up with less sugar and more nutrients So and, and spend less money because you have to buy four or five different things to get what you get in our product. So, you know, that that was, I think, a really important thing. But it was certainly a piece of feedback. And what's good about that is you then figure out how to talk about it, right? The only other one uh, is definitely sugar, right? People say, why is there sugar in this? And some, you could make a different choice. You could use artificial sweeteners or you could use even artificial sweeteners that they don't think are bad for you. But really the advice of our um, scientific advisory board and all the leaders in, in health that we talked to, they said, you know, we know what sugar does in the body. We know how it acts. It's safe. Your brain uses sugar. Just use the least amount possible. Use the clean, you know, organic um, sugar and make it as nutrient dense as possible. So if we're going to use sugar, we want it to have so much nutrient that it's, you know, it's no more than, I don't know, having an apple or something, but with an enormous amount of nutrient density. And so those are the, probably the two biggest around gummy that we got. Now we've now expanded into other formats and you'll see us continue to do that. Um, play anywhere we see where the need for a comprehensive premium kind of multifunction solution is needed. Well, that's probably where we're going to go. But in gummy, those were probably the two. Yeah, because common. the perception, too, I, I remember you talking early on, you know, you see the dusting of the stuff on the outside, the vitamin, and people, the perception was it had more sugar right. because of that, right? Right. Well, and that's only on one, that's really only on one product. The mm. Kids Complete is the only one that has the dusting on the outside. And all the new products now, like, we know they don't stick together. We don't need to. We don't need to do that. Um, I think for one of the products, it still does make it appealing to kids. And so for parents who whose kids are super resistant, it's very effective. Um, but we have a fiber version that doesn't have any added um, sugar that, you know, is very effective if kids will take it. So what are the, some of the best sellers now? What are the most popular ones? We have got a few. We have the Kids Complete still, obviously, is, you know, I think quickly becoming kind of like the new Flintstones. It's a very, very popular product. Uh, we have the number one fiber product on Amazon, which is the Kids Fiber, which is the same as Kids Complete, but just with fiber added, because that's obviously such a big issue for parents. And fiber in general in the American diet is one of the kind of highlight deficiencies. Our Women's Complete is growing very, very quickly. And we have a prenatal 
which is a best-selling uh, gummy, frequently has the number one spot on Amazon uh, and is doing very well. Um, so those are probably our number ones. Our newest ones are things like our teen. We launched a teen so, guide um, and our master's product for 50 plus men's women's. And the, the thing those products, those four products have in common is uh, lutein zeaxanthin for eye health, which is a thing that you're going to see more and more people talking about because of all the blue light from all the screens. It's totally. starting to really affect people's eyes. And um, we have a product that has a clinicals around, you know, preventing uh, damage to your eye from blue light. So anyway, those are kind of the new stuff and Smarty Paws, which we're very excited about. Why the decision between, I know that teen girls and teen guys, mm-hmm. again, because it's, it's, that's not an easy decision to make. Now you have to produce two separate products. Yeah, like, yeah, let's just do teenagers exactly. and forget about it. Why the teen girls and guys? Well, because really we saw, you know, this is one of the, going back to the, one of the things that we want to work on in terms of transparency, people don't realize when they look at the label recommendation, that label recommendation, you know, it says daily value, 50% or whatever, that covers people from age four to 99. That's stupid, right? Because hello, someone who's four is not the name of someone who's 99. So what we're, we're using actually to design are a very different set of standards created by the NAH, which are divided by gender and much smaller age groups. So it's like age four to seven girls, age, you know, seven to 14 girls. And so when we looked at that, there's a critical moment of change where there are different needs. And so we wanted to acknowledge that you're not uh, probably your full weight yet, maybe your full height. So you are still changing and you've got some um, acute energy needs. You've got, you know, we wouldn't want to put the same amount of energy in a toddler necessarily, let's say. If anyone has toddlers, they understand. Uh, Versus the teenager who is teenager who is just burning calories just by existing because their body is changing so fast. So, um, and it turns out it's extremely popular. You know, that category, I think you're going to see explode. I think you're going to start seeing teen customization uh, across a lot of products. Courtney, first of all, I have one, I have one last question, but I want to thank you. This has been fantastic. Everyone should check out smartypantsvitamins.com. Check it out. And you can probably go in any major retailer and pick them up also. Um, yep. there's so much to talk about, so much I didn't get at because as a tech founder, I was interested in your tech stack, the tools and software you use. But since we're limited on time, I want to know I don't... Get to it because I won't be able to answer. Okay. Um, I always like to ask at the end, <laughs> since it's inspired insider, what's been a low moment and how you push through and then what's been a high point for you? There have been a lot of both of those. I was just meeting with an entrepreneur this morning and she was like, so now that, you know, after the first couple of years when that stopped happening, I was like, yeah, no, it does not ever stop happening. <laughs> you still have existential, you know, threat moments every day, not every day, but even at this stage. Um, I think one of the low moments is when um, we worried very much about, uh, there was a shortage of nutrients. There were some key nutrients, the forms of which we use, but no one else uses and there was a global shortage of uh, something, and we were so low on the totem pole because we were still such a small company. That was a very hard moment because you have to make a choice. Like, do you switch the form of the nutrient, but that's not true to who you are? Do you stop making your product, which at a company that size would be devastating? Uh, we made a choice to create a public conversation with our with our sort of users or you know our customers around it. Transparency, right? Yeah. But that was hard. But that was hard. You know, I mean, and there's so many of them. I mean, I really there's so many moments like that where um, you can choose the easy path or the right path. And unfortunately, they very rarely seem to be the same one. I don't know why the hard thing is the right thing all the time. That just seems wrong. But anyway, that is how it seems to happen. So um, and then a high point. Really, when we realized that we could we could hit 10 million matching grants which is our goal for vitamin angels and also have a company that's reaching millions of customers um, and provide, you know, a great return to the investors who really believed in us in the early days and employ people at a, at a you know, really, really fair wage and give them equity. I mean, I don't think you get to do that many times in life. So to me, the high point is every time I give myself two seconds to sit back and, and just wonder at the fact that I've been given the opportunity to do this every day with a group of people who care so tremendously and enjoy their work and work their butts off to make it happen. And, and then we get to change lives in some cases. It's a, 
I don't know. It's a very humbling thing. You know, it, always cho it chokes me up really. I just, I don't think I'll ever get to do anything as good as this. And, and I'm really grateful. And if that's, that's the thing that keeps me going in the low moments, you know, totally. Courtney, I want to be the first one to thank you. Everyone check out smartypantsvitamins.com. Anywhere else we should point people towards online that we haven't mentioned. Ah, uh, you know, any really any major retailer online or off, um, you can find us now. Cool. Well, thank you so much, and thank uh, you. check them out at a store near you. Thanks, Jay. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other.